Hello, this is Devin from DevPress, and I'm going to show you how to set up automatic linting and code formatting for your PHP files in WordPress projects. So this could be a theme, it could be a plugin, it could be an entire WordPress site. And what the linting will do is it will automatically scan your code and analyze it for potential issues, and the auto formatting will format your code where possible to the, the coding standards that you've defined. And so let me just give you a quick example of how this will work so you can see in VS Code. So I'm just going to open one of the files here I have here. And I just added the, the linting um, to this project and the code standards. So when I scan through it, it will mark anything that has a potential uh, that, that breaks the code rules that I've um, designated for this. So here's one, and if I hover over it, it says, hey, you must use Yoda condition checks. So that's that's one of the things. Um, here is an issue about tran translated text. Um, if I had security issues, if I had um, other other things that weren't correct, it, it would just tell me about them. Um, is like a strict comparison. So there's a bunch of things in there. And then the really nice thing as well is in WordPress, right? WordPress coding standards have these spaces uh, in between everything. And if you're coming from like a Laravel project or, or something else, it's like a little weird. Um, so if, if you're just coding out and, and doing stuff, you might have things all over the place. But then on save, it can automatically fix some of these things. So we see it didn't fix everything here. It didn't fix these lines that I had off, which is too bad. Um, but it did fix all the spacing issues um, there. So some of these things do need to be fixed. Um, I believe it, it can align stuff as well. So yeah, that pops back into place and save. So it, it's a very helpful tool to have in while you're writing your code and to automatically notify you of, of issues and to auto format that, especially if you're working in a team, because um, you don't want to be doing a code review and have to tell someone, hey, you forgot a space right there. It's nice if the uh, code editor just automatically fixes that uh, for you. So that's an overview of what it is. And to get it set up, um, you will need to have some familiarity with the co command line um, and, and Composer, fortunately. I, there are some solutions that do the linting in VS Code without Composer, but I just have not been able to get them to work with the rule sets that, that I want. Um, if you're just doing a PSR2 um, rule set, there are some that don't require you to install Composer. but. Um, the ones with WordPress are a little more custom. So hopefully you do have some familiarity with the command line and familiarity with Composer. Uh, if not, then you're going to have to um, go explore that a little bit and then come back to this video. Uh, so let's open my Composer file. So I have a number of things for this plugin. I have, I have unit tests. Um, I, have, I have it generate my translation files. Um, but the ones that we care about here are this uh, these two dependencies here, uh, dealer direct uh, PHP code sniffer. And so that's what actually does the linting. And then this automatic VIP WP CS, which is the code rules, the rule sets that I am using for the code formatting and, and linting. So those are those two dependencies are needed. And if you look in the post, it, it'll let you know how to install those. And then we need this PHP CS XML file. And I just have some, some base things here about <laughs> how it outputs into the command line. And then I am excluding some directories from, from getting the linting. And then finally down here is where the rule sets are. So we're going with the WordPress VIP minimum rule set and the WordPress extra rule set, and then I have one other one for closing brace. And you can further refine these rule sets. Like if there is something in the WordPress extra rule set that you don't like or you never use, you can uh, exclude that from the sniff so it won't, it won't raise those as issues for you. Um, 
and and you can add other ones too if there are different things that you wanted to check for. So it it's very um, extendable, and and you can get you know the code environment that you're going to be really happy with um, in your site. So that's that's what you need to get this started. And then also you can lint from the command line as well. So once you install those um, dependencies, we can run um, the linter directly from from the command line. That'll let you know that everything is working. So it'll go through all your files that it has access to, and it will let you know the line number, what type of error or warning it was, and give you some more information about that warning. Um, but obviously, um, you don't want to be running this on the command line and opening these files and going through this one by one. It's much easier when it is directly in your code editor to find those things. So to get this all set up in um, Visual Studio, I'm going to open my extensions here. So there are a number of different ways to set this up, and different tutorials will have um, different recommendations for the extensions to use. The ones that I found that work really well for me are this PHP IntelliFence uh, extension and this PHP Sniffer and Beautifier. So with those two installed, um, it it does all the linting directly in there. And you may have to set some settings um, once you get this set up. Let's see if I can pop into those. So I have all default settings, and here I have it to set to run PHPCS on, on save. So whenever I save the file, it, it'll um, run that. And then another one that is just useful while I'm in here showing you extensions is this editor config for VS Code. And that will uh, make sure that everything, all the file types that I have open use the correct um, white space in them. So here, let me show you the editor config file that I have set up. So um, it defines like the indent style and the indent size and for the different files, how to do that. So when you have that editor config extension set up, you know, it'll auto automatically take care of all your white space. So those are the three extensions I, I definitely recommend having for VS Code. And hopefully you have an idea of how to set up the linting and automatic code formatting um, for your WordPress project.